It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. It's falling off of his head. I tried, okay? When you spend $10 on a Santa hat for your dog and it doesn't even work because me fucking too. Also, my shirt has two reindeers literally toasting beer to each other. I'm assuming it's beer. Like, it was in, like, the funny section. It could be, like, hot chocolate, but, like... I don't know, yeah, there's reindeers getting drunk on my shirt, so. Hey everyone, it's Tana Claus, and today's video is going to be my December Q&A. And I tried to film this video, like, a week ago, doing the same thing in a similar getup. And I, instead of doing what I'm doing today, I was, like, cooking a big cookie. And it was gonna be, like, these little candy cane cookies, and I couldn't do it. And the video was, like, the biggest epic fail of my entire life, and I ended up just cooking, like, a giant penis cookie and then I was like hmm I better not put this on the internet I should redo it so here I am today redoing it in a better outfit with a better voice and a better cooking show so hello so today while I answer some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram shameless self promo if you want to be in future Q&A's follow me on Instagram below I'm gonna be icing some ugly sweater sugar cookies and I already made one before the video to make sure this wasn't gonna be like another epic fail and I'm gonna show you because it turned out pretty fucking great okay. look at my cookie look at the details actually it doesn't look as good look at the details <laughs> Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite Bath & Body Works holiday scent? And absolutely, literally, no question, like no thought whatsoever, tis the season. If you have never smelled tis the season from Bath & Body Works, you have never lived your life properly, like literally, go ahead and get up, go to Bath & Body Works, and smell tis the season, and just bust a nut. Just bust five nuts, because it smells so fuck. I'm low-key gonna go for this like reindeer. Can you see that? It's like a reindeer. We're gonna try to do that, okay? So update, literally 10 years later, I tried so hard, but it looks like a nug of weed on fire. Like that's what I get from it because I don't think these antlers look like antlers. I think they look like flames and then it's like green. So it's like blaze it and... <sighs> so the next question is when did you stop believing in Santa? And this story is so like... Hilarious to me now, but incredibly morbid as well. I, morbid might not be the right word. Just like dark and like annoying. I don't know. Okay, anyways. So I was literally in like first or second grade and I was always a very like skeptical, intelligent child. Like I didn't let my parents like play games with me. Like I don't know how to explain it. I would always ask a million questions. I always wanted to know why. I always wanted to know like the answer to everything. Like I was that annoying kid, but I also like accredit that to me being not a complete dumbass today. So anyways, one day in second grade, I literally walked up to my parents. Like it was Christmas time. It was like four days before Christmas. Like the presents were all around the tree. Like everything was ready and for the past like week or so i'd been asking my parents questions every day like how does santa travel all around the world and like make it to our house too like i don't understand like what about like apartments what about places without chimneys like so many questions all week and finally i had sat in my little room and like maniacally planned it all together that i knew santa wasn't real so i walk into my parents room and I literally look at my dad. He's sitting like around a fireplace, like in their room. And I look at him and I go, Santa isn't real. Easter Bunny isn't real. And you're a liar. And then he literally looks at me and is like, yep, you're right. Like we're Santa. Sorry. And then my mom starts like screaming because she's so mad that he just like fucking spilled the beans. And I was like so young and it was just so bad. And I honestly like... I think deep down I was expecting them to be like, no, honey, like, Santa's real, I swear, like, he's gonna bring presents, like, see, wait. And then my dad was literally just like, oh, yeah, sorry. And I was like, and my mom was like, and my dad was like, and that's how I learned Santa and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy and every other mystical parent created creature wasn't real and then I was always that kid who was like pissed at school when kids would be like, yeah, Santa's coming in. But I had to like keep it in, you know, to be like nice to them and ugh, it was really hard. So that's how I found out Santa isn't real. But this Loki looks great, like phenomenal, like wow, round of applause, Tana, holy shit. So the next question really, really made me laugh. It's not really Christmas themed, but it is how hard is adulting on a scale of 1 to 10? Because if you guys didn't know, I just like moved out into my own house. And I just want to answer this question with literally like a 10 out of 10, a 100 out of 10, a 1000 out of 10. I feel like 
every teenager moving out really genuinely like underestimates how hard it is and then they do it and don't get me wrong I'm madly in love with like living here I'm madly in love with like being more independent I really like the like alone time that I've been able to like spend with my mom and, like my friends and like you know what I mean be able to kind of make my own rules if you will is a really nice feeling but instead of worrying about spending your money on things like clothes and bags and purses and makeup and actually being like holy shit I have an electric bill holy shit I have a water bill blah 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 it's very grounding it's very real and I do enjoy the responsibility I've always been someone who likes that who likes independence I was always that like oh okay I was always that teenager that kind of wanted to grow up too fast and now that it's here I definitely wish I would have enjoyed being a kid and a teenager a little bit more I mean I'm still a teenager but I mean like an iris like an irresponsible teenager a little more however I am so in love with it like it's very very happy but very very surreal being self-sufficient and not relying on anyone else you know very different but yes I love it so it is a 10 but a happy 10 and I'm gonna shut up on my ramble now okay <laughs> second update is that not so fucking lit or is it just me I don't know update so this cookie was going wonderfully until I decided that it would be a genius idea to put white polka dots all over it and now it looks like someone just like came all over my cookies so yeah how's your day how's your day going so the next question is weirdest gift you've ever gotten and honestly, I don't normally really get that many weird gifts. And I don't really care if someone gets me like a shitty gift because it's like the thought that counts. But when I think of weird presents, one present really seriously comes to mind. But it's not a present that someone just randomly gave me. It's something that I asked for and wanted really, really bad, which is weird now that I look back on it. So in like fourth or fifth grade, So in like fourth or fifth grade around Christmas time, there was always this like infomercial that would play for this like thing that was like a tumbler, basically like a thing that rolled stuff around. And the purpose of it was like, it was a kid's toy for kids to put rocks in, like rocks from their backyard. And then the like tumbler thing would make the rocks like really shiny. And it was like a shiny rock maker. And this thing was like $70. Like it was literally $70. It was one of those like, three payments of 25 fuck you dollars like you know what I mean like it was expensive it was a very expensive present and now that I look back this was literally the definition of like a marketing ploy making me think I want something that I don't want because like I only wanted this thing because the infomercial made it look so 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 cool and I remember it was Christmas time and I asked my parents for this and they're like why do you want that like it's it's a rock maker like just go get some rocks from your backyard and like wash them like you don't need that Tana and I begged them and begged them and begged them and begged them for this stupid fucking 75 70 dollar rock maker and then I get it finally because like I did not shut the fuck up about this rock maker for literally like weeks and so Christmas morning comes I open my rock maker I go to the backyard I put my fucking rocks in it like plug it into the wall it's like tumbling the rocks and I'm like so excited because in the commercial the rocks looked so cool and I pull my fucking rock out and it looks exactly the same as it did and I just start bawling like bawling my eyes out and my parents are like like we told you so like it's a rock maker like what did you think it was gonna do like it did absolutely nothing this company sold probably like thousands and thousands and thousands of this machine that literally just tumbles your rock around and gives it back to you in the same state that it was for $70. So like round of applause to them for fooling children everywhere and like capitalizing on that. But like that's the weirdest present I've ever received and or asked for. And I just to this day like why, why did I want that so bad? Like okay. The next question is will this be the last question? No it won't. Were you expecting that? I bet you weren't. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at this looks. Look at this. So I just want to make a quick comment on how many people left a comment on my Q&A post on Instagram. I said please ask me holiday themed questions and probably like four to five hundred of those questions were people genuinely asking like would you fuck Santa? Would you fuck Mrs. Claus? Would you get a train ran on you by Santa and Mrs. Claus? Would you rather fuck a reindeer or an elf? Will you eat Santa's ass? Like the amount of inappropriate like Santa sex questions that I got asked is literally insane. If you don't believe me, literally go on my Instagram and look at that post. Like so many people ask me questions like that and I'm just, 
I'm just a little bit confused where I give you the vibe of like, yeah, Santa, like, let's bang. Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm okay. I don't want to ruin my childhood. Yeah. So someone literally asked me, would you lick Santa's asshole? And I just like, no, just no. Could you please tell me what the fuck is in eggnog? Yes, I can. I didn't buy this just to answer this question. I swear to God, I actually thoroughly enjoy eggnog. That doesn't smell like it's good anymore though. Okay, so the ingredients of eggnog are And then yellow number five. That alarms me, okay? I don't mean to go all like freely the banana girl on you, like fuck. I know that that's like so extra, but like honestly, truthfully, I don't know why things have to have like yellow five in it, red five, green three, like I would be genuinely satisfied with eggnog if it was white. Like why did you have to put yellow five in it? Like that's so unnecessary, so gross. What is yellow five? I'm ingesting yellow five. Like that's a little alarming, like you know what I mean? Isabella made a cookie and she wants to show you. No body, just hand. <laughs> it's actually very lit. I made a cookie but I fucked it up so I'm eating it. This is the intermission, welcome. I made this with no contacts in. Lit. So the next question literally made me die laughing, like die. Like when I was going through my Instagram comments, this is the only question that like made me laugh out loud. And I don't even think the person's intentions were to make me laugh at all. Like I think that this is a dead serious question. So I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna answer it as seriously as possible. If my cousin is too conservative, what is the best way to tell him he isn't invited to Christmas dinner? Is that like just a little bit funny to anyone else? Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. Hello? Hey, hey, Jimmy, it's, it's Sandra. So I'm really sorry to inform you, but you're too conservative and you aren't invited to Christmas dinner. No, no, you don't, you don't have to say anything. Like, like, that's just, that's the bottom line. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This was the end call button right here, this one. The next question literally, literally, literally is so fucked up. Someone asked me, how would you feel about Christmas dinner with peanut butter baby? And I just wanna tell you, I wouldn't feel. Like there would be no feeling because, no. If the baby was washed and clean, and like completely clean, and there was no peanut butter around, and he was like across a fucking 45 foot table for me, like maybe, maybe. But if he made that little fucking bah noise, like I would just lose my shit. So I don't know, I don't know how I feel yet. Bah. The next question is real or fake tree and definitely a fake tree because I'm a fake ass bitch. I actually want to show you guys my Christmas tree really quick because I'm like dying of excitement for my Christmas tree. So hey guys, it's a vlog. Happy vlogmas. I'm a vlogger. Yeah. Fun fact, I started YouTube as a vlogger. Oh, it doesn't look as cute um, in the daytime. But yeah, there is my beautiful fabulous christmas tree the last question is if you could live with any celebrity for a week who would it be and for the past like week or so i have been like hardcore binge watching paris hilton's my new bff on hulu plus i know i really don't have a life but like when i say binge watching i mean like an entire season in a night like no problem and like i know the show is staged i know like obviously she's not like oh my god you're my best friend now like i get that and all but I would love, I would bust nuts to live with Paris Hilton for a week because I just feel like it would be so fun. Like, I don't know. I feel like she doesn't get enough credit for actually being like funny and like cool and like uh, nice. I don't know. I just, it would be a great time. So yeah, I'm trying to make a Santa hat, but this looks like period blood. So Merry Christmas. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my little festive Tana Claus December Q&A. Here are what my cookies look like. So these are what some of my cookies look like. I really hope you guys enjoy the aesthetically pleasing view of my new trays. Yes, I'm adulting very well. If you wanna participate in future Q&As and hopefully not ask me to eat Santa's asshole, go ahead and follow me on Instagram below. Thank you so much for 100,000 on Instagram, by the way. I literally remember like crying when I hit like 8,000, so the fact that I'm at 100,000 on Instagram is mind blowing. Thank you so much. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, all of that as well. Check out my merch if you'd like a bleach tone shirt. If you don't, it's okay. I still love you the same. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.